Everyone, this is Killshot from 999 Gaming. Window video for Empires and Allies, and this is called Updated Base Checks. This would be base check number 24, but we're going to try to change the rules a little bit. You can imagine it's pretty difficult to do base checks with stealth generators in play. So we will continue to do some, but what I'd like for most of you guys to do, if you want a base check, just coordinate a time with me, and then take your stealth generator and just move it out of play. Uh, it can cover up a resource or cover up something simple but it would help me to give you better defense advice if I know what you're covering up and what headquarter level you are, a few of those things. At a minimum, when you do a base check, at least send me the information and say, hey, I'm headquarter level 15 and this is what I have. Uh, a few more facts if, uh, if you can't move your stealth generator. If you can move your stealth generator, that'll help out more than anything. I've seen some really tricky stuff out there so far. I've seen people covering up resources. I've seen stealth generators over blank areas just to sort of bluff you a little bit. I've seen level... Uh, headquarter 1819 with low level towers to make you think that um, you know you're a low level you attack and then you get under stealth generator and you got two metal reins and two rail guns so it's pretty good mix we got some crafty players out there so um, you know if you want adequate advice I'll do my best to help you out but uh, it'd be better if you can move those out so let's start uh, we'll take a look at three people who do have their headquarters covered up and just give some generic advice so this is Philly Phil 67 out of high order you can see uh, he does have a big area in the middle there. Most of his defenses are 15, so we know he's at least 15. He's got a metal rain under there somewhere. It could be higher. Could have two metal rains. Could have two rail guns. So, you know, this information we don't fully know. Uh, one thing I will tell you that I think can be improved, see this area over on the northeast. One, two, three, four, five, six fixtures in that range. I definitely would spread those out a little bit more. Uh, you're in A-10 range. Um, just... Uh, you know, spread that out a little bit. Also to the north there, you got three fixtures. We go over to the west here. You know, uh, you got an artillery, and then you got a, a tower. I don't think that's very well defended. You know, there again, uh, one A10 right in the uh, west side there is going to take out four fixtures. And then you also looks like you got a pretty good entry point down at the bottom here, down in the south. Only two uh, defenses, an artillery and a tower. So on the outside, I don't think it's very well protected. Um, I do think you need to spread out. A little bit more but uh, you know I might even bring the walls in and then spread some of the fixtures out so you'd actually be consolidating a little bit of the interior and then spreading a little bit of your parameter a little bit more just to keep from uh, those A-10s taking out four or five fixtures and building up too many command points so let's move on uh, you guys leave in the comments uh, what you think about Philly Phil's base and uh, Phil if you can just put uh, you know how you're defending and just be curious to know how your base is doing before we make any modifications to it so this is Big Money 21, and same thing, Big Money 21. We don't know what level he is. Uh, you know, we can look around at some of the uh, the towers and some of the dome defense. Looks like he's 12. So I doubt he's level 12. He might just be a little bit behind on leveling up. So if I had to guess, I'd probably say he's probably headquarter 14 um, and maybe just lagging a little bit of his defense. But if you can leave that in the comments as well, too, Big Money, just let us know what you are. Um, you know, a little tight over here over in the corner I mean you got five or six fixtures over there really with only one tower so that I think they're very weakly defended um, in the middle I'm sure you got the most of your defense in the middle the thing I don't like about the base is see how you got these openings in the walls but then you have something catty cornered like even this supply bunker you can move that and and where you have the openings move a fixture over there so instead of just having it butt up against the wall there just move it to where there's opening. I think you can do a better job just all the way around the parameter of keeping those spaces. You have tarmacs there, but that doesn't really keep anybody out. They can go over the top of the tarmac. Now, they will hit the, the um, whatever the structure is beside it, but it just makes a little bit more sense to me. You can move those tarmacs just out of the way and put you know your supplies or your, um, your oil derricks or whatever just to cover up your walls. So, once again, leave in the comments what you guys think. A little bit of advice for big money. And the last one we're going to do, number three in the updated base checks, is going to be General AA5CBO. All right, so some pretty low-level towers here. Um, and if I had to guess, I'm going to say he's headquarter, nah, let's go with 10. He's got guard towers 8, but quite a bit of supplies here. Um, with this particular base, I think you could make a better use of your trees in the middle. Um, one thing that I do not like is these artillery. You have artillery hi hidden behind the trees, but there's nothing protecting them. So your troops are going to walk right over to the artillery. Artilleries are best used 
when there's something keeping them away so they can get some splash damage on your troops. So for example, if somebody puts 50 rangers there, the artillery's going to not even get a shot off. So it's kind of a waste. And the thing is, you've got three artilleries all along the outside, and none of them are protected. So that's my biggest complaint with this base. You know, there are some other things I think you could better utilize. Like I said, the trees, maybe move the headquarters. Yes, you have a stealth generator in there, and I know you got some dome defense in there. Don't know what your dome defense are set to. Could be Thiels, um, could be sentry guns. But, you know, to me it doesn't really matter because they're going to take out your artillery, and there's going to be so much momentum just rolling into your base. By the time they get stealth generator, uh, they're going to have 70% of your base knocked out. So thanks, everyone, for watching. This is updated base check number one. Uh, leave comments and things you guys would like to see. I'll get some uh, videos as we develop the War Factory a little bit more. I'm going to get some more rating videos up for you guys as well, too. And the question is, are Rangers dead? So that might be my next video. I've uh, just heard some rumors. They aren't as tough as they used to be with the stealth generators. Leave your comments below. Thanks.